Hello my sparks and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Buzz in Your Door. Last time, well, we got the second crystal star. And all screen. I found this. Yeah. So in the original, this is actually not how the warp room is. I like this better, honestly. Because of this, yeah, we probably could be doing some more troubles, but I'm going to do those later. I just want to show them right now, so you guys don't wonder why this pipe's here. Uh, before we do anything, I'm going to sell the mystery. Actually, no, wait. Uh, I don't know if we can cook some stuff first. Because I did earn some stuff here from underground, so yeah. It's a little mushroom. Mushroom roast. Much better. Gradual syrup. Ugh. Yeah, we're not cooking the mystery. The mystery literally is not going to be worth it. We'll get the information and then head to Glitzville. Dried shroom and then a dizzy down. Be sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy down. Got that? Do that and shop people ask you your favorite color is. What your favorite color is? You answer yellow. Yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbags and also Comfy Arms. You got that? Yes. Dried shroom, dizzy dial, yellow. Dried shroom, dizzy dial, yellow. You get you got that? Dry shroom first, dizzy dial second. Then we answer to our favorite color is yellow. Even if it isn't, we still say yellow. Be lying. Heroes? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that last bit. Remember it? A dry shroom? And dizzy dial. The color of my mustache is black.
My favorite color is yellow. Get to that. Mm. Not yet, at least. <laughs> hey, this is the all of us are beyond, are beyond the syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. <laughs> you got no business here, scramble him! <laughs> What's with you, wise guy? <laughs> I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? <laughs> See now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You are to me. <laughs> you got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You wanna run this bum out on the rail, boss? Look at him! What a rube! You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? <laughs> Not so fast, boys. <laughs> I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. <laughs> so we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you're off and up. You got it? <laughs> so I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. <laughs> What's that? You wanna help some broad who won't got herself kidnapped? <laughs> and to rescue this dame you are here collecting the crystal stars? <laughs> the crystal stars? <laughs> hey boss, ain't that those things that legend about the ancient treasure? <laughs> Vinny, you're such a dope! Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in the fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to about the lunch. The treasure is as real as I am. <laughs> Everybody just shut! I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? <laughs> but I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl. He's gone gaga. <laughs> I made my decision. You do me a little favor and you get your blame ticket. Sounds fair, right? <laughs> not entirely sure like the sound of this. <laughs> it's easy! It's nothing! It's less than nothing! <laughs> you see, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with... Uh, da my own daughter eloped with one of my young uh, associates. <laughs> they vanished, uh, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewhere. <laughs> you gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this... Frankie, and bring them both here. <laughs> if you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. <laughs> then I shall sh settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. <laughs> Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goop on this job. <laughs> yeah, but husband is right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> it's cause you lovers can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. <laughs> I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? <laughs> no, boss. Oh, I don't say it goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. <laughs> Francesca and Frankie look like this. <laughs> and just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. And we don't need to come back here. So, that live stream is going to be invaluable when we are when we were able to buy it. So, where are Frankie and Francesca? Well, they're down here. Near the harbor. 
I don't know why they didn't think to look. Well, actually, I do know why. Or at least one of them. They're right down here. Hey, back off, you creep! You want something or just sidling it up to people? Oh. What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do? If Daddy finds us now, oh, I don't know. The boat's coming any minute. <laughs> no, this. We ought to get back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frank, don't say it. Don't you know what it'll do to you if we do that? Fred, yes. Baby doll. If we can just talk calm like with the boss, you'll understand. Oh, Frankie. My Frankie. Don't you love me? <laughs> of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. But let's go, Frankie. Let's run. To the end of the earth we have to. <laughs> but Butter Biscuit, they already found this out. We can't keep running forever. We can't, Frankie. The more you try to peel the flames of love, the harder they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish those flames of passion. No one. Did you see, mister? I beg. You pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Sorry. As much as I want to, there's just no way. What did you say to me? You terrible, terrible man. Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from the spot. We need to get... We need to save a princess, so... Oh, whatever shall we soon do? We have to say something to that Don Piante fellow. I must say, though, don't pass you a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. That's what we're going to tell him. We can't exactly say nothing. Don Miano. <laughs> oh, look who comes back! The proverbial mustache! You gonna bribe my mood? <laughs> so good, what you got? You know where the... You know the whereabouts of these two runaways. Sure do, and I'll tell you that. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, is that a true fact? A rogue Port Harbor, eh? <laughs> well done, I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I prepare your t flip tickets. <laughs> Hey, hey, you two numbers! The kids are at the are at the har are at the harbor. Now go get them, Daddy! Wait, <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I I'm sorry. Truly, I am. <laughs> Frankie, so back you come with head hung low and the wit, but your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come and talk to you, Daddy. <laughs> Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve all for being this loyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, Boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy, no, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, Boss. It's all on me. It's all my responsibility. All the blame right here. Daddy! Boss! <laughs> ah! Enough! Quiet! Both of you! <laughs> Francesca, my headstrong daughter, use up your last favor long ago. <laughs> and you, Frank, <laughs> you are like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. <laughs> You're such a point in you too. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Daddy! <laughs> Boss! I don't want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight. Both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. Even if it means getting married. 
Oh, Daddy. Dad, oh, wait, 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 no way, I mean, b -b boss! Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. <laughs> boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. <laughs> Enough already! Just go! Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, congrats both of you. Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out is a bit savvy, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. Um. <laughs> you still here? <laughs> well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter self so <laughs> But hey, deal's a deal! You can have your blame. Let me take it, like I said. <laughs> Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. <laughs> and I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. <laughs> now go on and get your ugly mug out of my office. I've got some intense emotions to comp comp compartmentalize. Oh my, we don't, Mario. Next up, Blissville. Yes, I know. <sighs> Hopefully, we don't have to do much more PR to speak. I'm gonna bring Gumbella. It's like close to this food. You only need to get to travel with us. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yes. But please watch your step as you step aboard. We got a star piece. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory! Well, no doubt about it, Mrs. Glitzville, can you believe it actually floats? Glitzville! Well, let's get to it, Mario. Let's find that Christmas part of Star as fast as we can. There we go. There's where it is. Yeah, no, there's nothing here in the item shop. Um, yes, I'll talk to you, but we'll have to talk to you guys a little much later. Thank you. Well, 
and coupon, which is going to be actually kind of useless here. And if we start setting up for these... We can end up getting a lot of stuff early. Power plus B. P, not B. Can't get that star piece in there. I'll just show you where we fly to. Yes, this will become relevant later. Anyways, oh, and there's a star piece here. Star piece! Actually, blow these off. No, we can't. Oh. Didn't do anything. It didn't really give us anything in the original, so it's not that big a deal that we lost it. Now we've got an actual fire in our hands! Whoa, totally awesome! Check it out, Mario! Someone's about to catch a being up there! <laughs> That's right! Ooh! I think it's about time you f about time for you to feel the rock! Oof! He managed to jump on a spiked enemy. That's pretty good. Stay down, Pincushion! You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you heard me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class banking and send you crying home to Mama again. Woo <laughs> wee, champ! That was a great weapon. Your thoughts on the match? <laughs> Got that match? Ain't, a, ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there who can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick? Come find me. Bring it. I'll take anyone. Take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rock Hog is the champ. <laughs> Whoa, look, Mario. There, on the chance belt. Isn't that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Look at it, sparkle. Gotta be a crystal star. Who put that being a sway pit like this? Don't ask me. Ask who cool, cool is you. What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal what me had to build, can we? This stinks. What can we do? Steal the thing! Come on, Mario. Seriously. We're good guys here. We can't do that. No, no. The only way, the way I see it, our only option is for you to kick some tail and take some names and become the champ and win that belt. Let's get busy, huh? I guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Oh, I'm getting kind of stoked about this. Let's find out who runs the shindig. Time to become wrestlers. <laughs> What's that, bub? You wanna become a fighter? <laughs> well, if you're serious, you better go meet Mr. Grubb the promoter. <laughs> Mr. Grubb's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on for it. That? You wanna be a fighter bub? <laughs> oh, alright, go ahead, Mr. Grubbs is just inside. <laughs> Who in Tarnation are you, son? Who let you in? This is Grubba's office! Yep, that's me, Grubba, and you... You're one route to come in while I'm not. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Nathalie, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Woo wee! That do change a thing or two, son. I always get time for an upcoming fighter. Yep, this place is back to the gills. Young fighters all primed and are raring to go. Gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, blame me too much, straight. You want to live a glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Don't skip it! 
Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a poke at two for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and popped my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is tickly dang dynamite! Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true. Even if it ain't yours, exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big! That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back at all those small dreamers and laugh! You reading me here, son? That's the spirit chief. Here, let's have a wa little walk and talk. Come now. That was a hot dog that reminds me of that before. Forgetting. Now, how do you like this part? Just feast your eyes. Go on, this is the champion's room. This is an Deluxe! You become a champion, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all of the. Of course, that's on top of the big money and screen fans. You have no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself in life. A while, uh, comfort awaits. <laughs> now, uh, here we have the major league locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. <laughs> it's totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I care about my fighters, don't it? <laughs> now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't one. There ain't but one world champion. Climbing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champion ain't an easy thing to do. But that's the point, son! Wouldn't it be worth it if it weren't no challenge? I can see you got a fire for it, pod. Two pod. You got an eye. You got that eye of the tiger there. You gotta be a champion. I can feel it! I ain't never been so sure about a fight. Oh hey, uh, one other thing, uh, you gotta sign a, a beta key contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing, just take a time. Ta take a second or two of your time, just jot your name right here. Sign me up! Best thing you ever done, son! Now, Mario, eat a bad handle! Still, I can't say power, it looks a little punch, is a fighter's name. Get me? Oh yeah, I got you. Just sign me up as... Something like general gun sales. Let me see here. Bam! Wee! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzalez! Woo! Ain't that a view? It's not, it's not as good as the general gun sales. Dang, if ain't a strong genius, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone soon bow before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the pin side of the way, Jolene, could you come in the mail, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hun. Jolene is the great Gonzalez, our new rising star. Be a piece to take him down to the minor league locker room already. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you'd be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you are a country fire now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Gomez says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Gomez releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain when as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up to the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log in to this computer terminal here. Mr. Cooper will then decide you'll match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Welcome to Terminal Login with A and pick rank match. Well, howdy, 
Gonzalez, ready to get your fist dirty? Oh, there you go, son. I got a treat for you. First battle is against, gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Yeah, you want to get every fire up, though. So appeal to the crowd at least once. Got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, Bob. Okay, the battle is reserved. At this point, you're just waiting for security calls for you. Thanks, pretty basic. The team of drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning enough is not enough. When Mr. Cripper sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Really easy. If you satisfy the crowd and win, you can battle a higher rank for the next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy your condition, your rank will stay the same. If you get your rank up to 11, you got a shot in the major league. That's about all I need to know for now. Do you understand that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, so we to score you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Folks are the meteorite hardheads, the Goomba Bros! <laughs> hey, the newcomer of a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez! The Goomba Bros have been up and get, getting all hat up for the fight. Let's check in. <laughs> How do you do, Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha! Ah, you kidding, man? We're ready to bonk a fool or two. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? Cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach Tardy Punk how to respect fighters with seniority. Maybe I'll uh, call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. <laughs> oh, dang, dang, fight fans! There's Great Gonzalez now striding on up. <laughs> Today, this Ruby Gus has got strolling up late like he owns the place. Woo! <laughs> okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules in the match real quick. Have a head, my punk! Those little cowards. Those chicken attacked us from the bell rang. Oh, bad set. Come on. We aren't going to lose the punks like them. Let's wait, 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 not waste time. Oh, quit crying, will you? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? They are even worth <laughs> more than the one star point. That's embarrassing. Ugh. <laughs> the Great Gonzalez wins! Tell me something, what was your first day of victory like? That that fight? What a joke. <laughs> Listen to this guy, he's like a power of the arena! <laughs> Tell you what, I just saw folks, a whooping! This kid's got skills! We got ourselves a new hero! Let's hear it for him, folks! Yeah, the Grey Gonzalez! I don't know how I managed to stop getting that power. Not too shabby for our first fight, Gonzalez. You got some promise. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. Go get your fat money from Jolene. What's the price of war, Miss Jolene? Here's your fight money. Five points, Mr. Gonzalez. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. This one will not be set up until you get the rank match on town rally, yada yada. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight? I'm King K, just a Bruce League shrub like you. Good meeting you, man. Look, you look like a stand up dude, I think, and hang with you. Hey, so why didn't you meet the gang, huh? This here is Mr. Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you a vice bomb. As Mr. Ling was saying, you better bomb or pay Mr. Grubber's conditions. If you complete the conditions, you can win. Your rank won't go up, even if you win the match, Bomb. Yeah, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful, Bomb Bomb. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. 
Nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like because you bed in the chance room, though. It doesn't reveal star power. Okay, cool. This last guy with sweet purple kicks is known as Cleftor. Crack! Cleftor no make like make friends with mustache. He's there, Clef man. He isn't a friendless. He isn't a friendless guy, but you get used to him. Alright, let's go in my league. Need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are gonna have to square off eventually. So good luck, man. Now we will be continuing on still. I just need to quickly go grab something. This goddamn head dog! Now let's go back. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't be slow walking much longer. We'll soon get a way to speed up things. <laughs> well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Vixen for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next helper will be ranked 18 in Glitz Pit. The KP Koopas! Now listen son, in this battle I want you to appeal to the crowd at least once, okay? And these fans eat that stuff up! A little grandstand from their hero and all can go wild! Now get in there and get riled up soon! Hey, looks like your next match is against me! Good luck man! To both of us. I'm gonna switch. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Go. For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Shell Machines and Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. Come on, Mario, let's get this thing, thing over with. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. So those you were gonna swear off, and now it's on. <laughs> Get yourself ready to battle! First, gonna do keep you power shot trooper. Yeah. One down. King K is down! And let's feel the crowd.
Here's your fight money. Six coins, Mr. Gonzalez. You only went up because you met the conditions. Yeah, I'm going to be skipping pretty much a lot of the dialogue, because a lot of the dialogue just repeats. So when dialogue like this comes up, I will actually read it. Hey, wait a hand up, beat down on there, man. You beat me straight up. Good swing the other way next time, though, you know what I'm saying? Well, boy, how are Gonzalez? Fix for a fight, huh? Okay, then, next point will be rank 17 in Glitz Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them, their special moves. Since the crowd's craving a nice long battle, as simple as it does. Again, then, don't go a grandstand. Oh, wait, I can't even use Tattle. Can I? Oh, that's actually one of the worst ones. If that is the case, that's actually one of the worst ones. Spaggy Terror Triplets! Yep, a fight to the finish with Pokey Triplets! Go ahead, touch us, it won't hurt too much. It's just star points in the spine. If it's epi, then it's screwed. Yes, every enemy in this this place is going to be pretty much. Partner, so coops. Yeah, we're not going to be saying anything different for a while. <laughs> Eventually we will! Yes, I know, Jolene. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Did you finish beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man! The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you! I'm going to have to tell you, that room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. Don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too, it's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit, understood? Again, dude? Man, you are just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K, I didn't mean to bring the rules queen in here. Don't sweat it, be money. Jolene can take that too and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? Well, you know, no reason to be Now, if you folks will pardon me, that must be it. Uh, before we get into the next fight, let's quickly rest up. I believe the next fight is actually the next 
Sad opponents can actually do quite a whammer on Mario. De bones. Oh no! This is a one time where I don't want to be given that. Oh, I think dead bones are an enemy we've seen before. Let's go. So I don't think there are any. I think there are no old enemies. Though, so. The bone banging rockers, yep, I fight to finish with the dead bones. We're gonna take your skin off your bones. Nice, I got the little silage just didn't drive for that. <laughs> Gus is winning the Greek Gonzalez, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should find money in nine coins in that. Gonzalez, we're getting a lot of money. Knocked some blocks up. Not bad, Double G man. The real deal. The real I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. You don't get your lip. You just tell him King K said to back it up. Bizarre. Ah, he hurts. <laughs> Keep quiet. My food. Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Ouch. Do we have, do a guy maybe? Get grip with you, mommy. Out of the way up there. Whoa, sounds like some poor so I could just turn myself a trip to a hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Spike store! Now listen up, son. No! Oh, that's... That's another bad one. Because I would, I want, I was going to switch out to Flurry as soon as I'd done Tatler. <laughs> well, uh, Gimbel is going to be pretty much on defense. <laughs> I feel bad for Gimbel. <laughs> she can't do anything. <laughs> for our next battle, <laughs> the Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep. A fight to finish with the spike storm! We're gonna spike bomb you into submission punks. Granted, I could. That's a lag too. Remember the killer tree does? <laughs> Where does it keep all the spiny eggs? Let's go. 
two enemies down. I might as well just do it. I... Literally going to have to appeal. This literally is the worst case scenario. I mean, could use Earth Tremor, but a charge, but I want this done out of the way. There we go. No more. I do not want to have that ever again. <laughs> I do not want to ever have a case of that again. Or have to deal with an enemy when I can't switch out. Check this, I heard the darkness stands outside getting a new menu item that uses a mystic egg. Did you know about how this can restore your HP and FP during a match? That's some serious nourish. I'm not sponsored yet, just amazing about some probably amazing hot dog. You are a snack on one. I believe that means we can actually go and go out and check on that, and I want to do that now. Hey you! Dang cool! Don't be on my fence just cause you ain't got none! I think I will because I, I'm jealous. Oh. No! Stop my ones! This behavior is unacceptable in our food stuff! I insist you desist! No! Please come back to me! Someone help! My very important egg has escaped! Please catch it! There we go. I got it. And it decided to go up there. Absolutely unacceptable. Come on, polite society. As if you come down one sec. How am I meant to reach up there? Fly? Like a common sparrow? And yes, let us get up. Paper time! Huh? Did you hear that, Mario? You don't want to be eating little eggy wiggy? So adorable, what should we do? Should we help? LET THERE BE HOT DOGS! Come on, Mario, that's just tasteless. Seriously, don't scare the little guy. Try not to be so childish, will you? Mr. Hard Luck Dang Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. It's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well. 
Italian, I suppose there's not much market for cuisine that jumps anyway. Awesome, did you hear that little Eggy Wiggy? You're free! See you around! Huh? What is it now, Eggy? You want to follow us? Is that it? Pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let her? Okay, I can follow us. If we can't have it as odd folks, we can have it as a companion. Keep it low, guy. Just make sure not to get in our way, okay? Well, okay. Now let's take it back to the locker room. Next time! Yep! <laughs> Next time, we'll probably eventually find out what's inside this egg. I can't even hammer it. But, yeah. Next time. We'll clear more of the glitz pit and also find out what's inside this egg. We have we have accepted the egg. I'll see you as far as later. Zina Zima signing out.